Hello, I'm Martin Cassidy, president of the Houston Geological Society, and I am very pleased to see this excellent turnout for the Sheriff Lecture. Once again, we have a very good and large group of posters by the students. The students have been doing good work and it's well worth their expo exposing it here to the industry. So the I am Malesva Renigo. I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Houston. Today I'm going to talk about my status on my current research on how can we model seismically the effects of kerosene maturity for organic rich shale. And I'm going to discuss about Bakken shale from Willison Basin on land USA. Basically, as we know, it is very important to identify the sweet spots of kerosene maturity because once you have and once you identify where are the sweet spots where you have ke solid kerosene to fluid hydrocarbons probably it will be useful to identify sweet spots in order to drill better economic wells so here I'm going to show what is the model for the back and shell how I use it to derive the elastic properties and how the kerosene maturation is affecting elastic properties like PP, VS, anisotropy how the maturity is affecting wave propagation, how the it is affecting the AVO properties as well. And from our model, it shows that there is a considerable change in VP, VS and anisotropy and wave propagation as well. We hope that by using these model results, we can identify sweet spots of the kerosene maturation and the seismic data. Hi, my name is Ben Hilton. My project, my master's project, is studying the 3D facies variation within a tributary and sized valley in the Farron Sandstone in south central Utah. And one, one thing that this study is, is doing is documenting an environment that has not been described in great detail, both in current models as well as the literature. And what this study what this study documents is, uh, in a vertical sense, it documents how uh, the sequence boundaries, the higher order sequence boundaries, can have plan view complexity. It also documents uh, the lateral facies variation of Nielsen Wash. Multiple studies have been done in this area and never has a plan view map been created that documents each cut and fill episode as has, done, has, has been done here. So current models suggest that the confinement relationship of a valley will influence the proportion of sandstone to mudstone. One model suggests that tributaries are always muddier than trunk systems. This, doc this documents that, on the contrary, tributaries can be very sandy, and depending on the scale, uh, tributaries could be of economic interest to the petroleum industry. Uh, I am a first year PhD student in UFH. I have just finished my master's degree from the University of New Mexico and this poster I have made with my master's thesis only. So I did a satellite imagery evaluation of soil moisture variability in the Ganges Basin in India. So, uh, as you know, the Ganges Basin is a very big area, so it's really hard and time-consuming and also expensive to do laboratory soil uh, moisture study. So that's why my, that was my goal, whether we can do it using the satellite images, which are free and easily available. I took these four mega fans, Tista, Koshi, Gondok and Ghagra Rapti. They are sitting just side by side. They, um, their geologic structure is different. Like Tista and Ghagra, these two are incised. But um, Koshi and Gondok, in this part, the basin is still substantial. Siding. So we get to see that kind, those differences in the imagery, in the imageries also, in the moisture distribution. So if what we did, we got, we made a time across the uh, Gulf of Mexico, and uh, this is lo the location of my line. It's run from uh, the Boza Rica in the um, from s southwest to no northeast direction. So it's um, relatively parallel to the stride of the basin. 
and um, my result is the uh, uh, gravity models that show you the thickness of uh, different sedimentary layers. Uh, I have a, a, salt, a salt bodies here and then um, it's also show me the thickness of uh, the very thickness of, uh, of the crust and then um, I decide to put the uh, oceanic and continental boundary right there so the target of my study is to uh, define uh, the boundary between uh, oceanic and uh, continent continental thickness. You wouldn't be able to divide it yeah, like that. Yeah. They, they have, uh, well, in the refraction data, they have two layers of different crust. They have three layers here is because of the intercept, interception with their work uh, models.